Welcome back to the Eyewitness Morning News for our special show. We are remembering the one year anniversary of Hurricane Ida. We're live in Laplace this morning at Petra Restaurant and Lounge, which was heavily damaged by Hurricane Ida. But we're also checking out other areas that were damaged by the storm, including Lafouche Parish. I spoke with Parish President Archie Chasson. We went to one of the hardest hit areas to talk about the progress they've made in the past year and the hard work that's still left to be done. Lafouche Parish has seen its fair share of storms, but no one expected Ida's impacts. Yeah, Sheba, the reason we, we came here today is there's a, the industrial park neighborhood that we're standing in took a pretty hard beating. And this is after Hurricane Ida. This is what we're having to deal with now. A nearly 12 foot wall of water pushed water and marsh into this neighborhood. It took $2 million in a month to clean up. About 4,000 people across the parish are still in some type of temporary housing because their homes are not livable. So when you tell me about the folks living in temporary housing, is this what we're talking about? Yeah, this is one of the models. This is what we call the non-congregate sheltering program that the governor's office of Homeland Security put out uh, in the wake because we knew FEMA was going to be very slow with their rollout of the actual FEMA mobile homes. While some wait in temporary housing to move back into their homes, others aren't coming back at all. And with everything folks went through in this area, it's understandable some people just didn't come back. This seems to be one of them. Yeah, and these are the kind of things we deal with really after post-storm and the years after is the people who, you know, those 5% of folks that we know we lost the population evacuated to Prairieville, Lafayette, Baton Rouge, New Orleans. A year later, another major concern is rebuilding infrastructure. We have about $231 million of public infrastructure damage between our buildings, uh, the parish government complexes, our recreational facilities, and then our pump infrastructure. We talked about how people's homes and lives have been disrupted. We've talked about from a government standpoint, the infrastructure you want to get fixed up. We haven't talked about businesses. Yeah, and, and kind of what you see behind me is what the business community here faced after after the hurricane, right? It's these the shopping centers and the and the individual businesses that weren't a brick and mortar business themselves that have, have just continued to deal with this and either moved off and have not reopened, mm -hmm. uh, which unfortunately we're gonna see probably about five to seven percent of the businesses not come back in the food. And with all that's left to be done, the message is that Lafouche Parish will come back. We try to tell people that government is the same. We're still fighting FEMA, we're still fighting our insurance, but we're still here. We're waking up every day, the sun's shining on Lafouche Parish, and we're going to build back, we're going to do it, and we're going to survive. And we're going to be here through the next storm of the next storm because it's our way of life, because it's the place we want to live, work, and play, and because we love Lafouche.